It's available for you. Alright, so try to move through the physical scene, but I got it. These are real slow. Real slow. What is going on Kingsters? Welcome back to another one of my videos. This is your first first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. But I did something a little new. Um instead of like explaining what I was gonna do, I just went and did it and recorded it. And now I'm here. If you didn't see it, then I don't know how you clicked on this video and you're here now. But what we got for you today is some plastic dip and then a metalizer. So I'm not, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to plastic <clears throat> dip my emblems. So, yeah. That's, and I'm my voice is like this because I'm sick. Somebody at my school got me sick. If you're watching this, you know who you are. But, yeah. Um, some painter's tape and uh, just a, a plastic bag. So, here is the emblem I'm going to be painting right here. So, just mask. Mask off a little bit here, and then here, and then here, and then we're just gonna start spraying. So I, I used that plastic bag. I ripped it down the seams, and I used the masking tape to basically tape off the parts where I don't want the plasti dip. And yeah, so if you guys don't know what plasti dip is, it's it's basically paint that you can remove. So it's like a rubber coating, and once you don't want it anymore, you just like peel it off, and you're good to go. So, um, I got like, uh, I don't know what type of color this is, but I got it at Walmart, and I did some test shots right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting my emblem. Um, I'm not going to paint my front em emblem because the the grill and radiator and all that stuff, I just don't want paint on that. So, yeah. Probably a little later on in the future, but as of right now, it's not going to happen. So, I have my other one sitting right there in the sun getting all nice and toasty. And for this one, I'm just going to spray. So here we go.
Now, don't be like me and forget to clean the surface because you're excited. But that's that. And also, I'm right under a tree. So that's not good. So I'm just going to stand here and wait it out. Like, like 15 minutes or so. So catch you guys after 15 minutes. And see, see how the wind's starting to blow now? And the tape there is holding it up. This one, I mean, it, it is what it is. But, I, I mean, it's doing its job. I can reinforce it. But also the can. I mean, you just don't want anything right here. So, catch you guys in like 15 oh. minutes or so. The Plasti Dip is, is drying. Um, so, we got to talk a little bit. So, in my last video, if you haven't seen it, I'll either have it in the top right or top left. I can't remember right now. But anyways, uh, I asked for you guys to um, get, drop me uh, some comments down below to give me a name for my, my baby girl right here. And only one person did that. And I mean, I like the name, but I want to see what you guys come up with. So if you can and um, drop the comments of the name for my, my baby girl right here. Please, it'll be very much appreciated. And yeah, so let's go check up on the paint. All right, guys. So here we have the paint. It's it's dry already. Touching the edges, I don't want to touch the emblem. All right, so touching the edges, it's it's like dry already. So let's go ahead and do the other coat. And that's all you really need so now you wait a little bit again 15 minutes or so and come back and do two more coats i'm gonna do four four coats of the gray and then and then after after the four coats of the gray i'm going to get the metalizer and spread it on top so my hope is with the metalizer that it'll have like the color or the sparkle that this this paint has I don't know if you could see that with the camera but has that like kind of shine so I'm not really waiting uh, 15 minutes as you could tell because of me sweating so much it's hot so from the car being hot me driving to Walmart and back and it's sitting outside that the paint dries pretty fast so I, I just sprayed it and it's ready like, it's dry. So let's do two more coats. This time I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do three passes instead of two. So I went more towards the angle on this side. So I'm gonna do it again, but more towards the angle on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to go at a diagonal. So here we go. And then diagonal this this way. And then I'm gonna let that dry. And that should should be enough of the the gray. I know that's not four coats. I know that's not four coats, but you want to get a pretty thick layer on because if not then you're going to have a hard time peeling it off and we don't want that so i'm gonna let it dry for a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and spray the metalizer it has had time to dry a little bit here and there so what i'm going to do is take the metalizer and do like three coats so do a test shot here and there and then so that's like a light pass and i'm just gonna let that dry i like how it's giving it a a, a glossy look Ooh, i could kind of see like moving my head they're like shining a little bit. 
so so that's good because that's what I want I want it to shine like like the the factory paint and then after this we can go ahead and spray my Jetta right here and we can also spray my 2.5 SE and it'll it'll look nice hopefully it'll look nice hopefully I hope it'll look nice if not then we could just take it off and find some other color but Walmart doesn't really have a good selection. They have white, black, this gray, and red. So, not that much. And no, I'm not sponsored by Plasti Dip, obviously, because, you know, I don't know. But, yep, so since we've been talking, and it's hot outside, let's go ahead and spray the second coat. This time I'm going to go to from the top or le left. To the bottom right. And then I'm going to go uh, from the top right to the bottom left. Alright guys, so here you can see the paint. So my plan, it's not it's not going to look anywhere as good as the, the paint because this is actually paint. But it's looking pretty nice for some, some plas uh, spray can Plasti Dip. It's pretty cool. I like it. I sprayed the uh, third coat. I didn't feel like filming that because, because it's the same process. So I'm also not going to film my Jetta, my Jetta emblem. Or my 2.5 SE emblem because it's the same exact process as this. But um, I'm not going to sure how good I'm going to be able to get this off showing you guys, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to take off all the tape here up on top so it can just come right off easily. All right. And then see right here, see how it's start, like already starting to peel up. That's pretty much what you want. And then it's not a nice clean line because it's plastic dip obviously but here it is again and then for the top one there we go it's pretty satisfying all right i'm not going to remove this because it's for the safety of my license plate but here we go It's pretty thin around the edges, but once you get it going, you know what? I'm just gonna take this off. Oh, there we go. See, we got a piece here. Now let's just try and take it off. See, now it's separating there. So now I'm just gonna follow it. And then go up. That's pretty satisfying, say so myself. Darn it broke. Alright, let's grab it from this side then. Uh oh, look, a spider has come to join me. Hey man, what are you doing? Why are you running around? There we go, guys. Looks nice, except for this right here. But, I mean, just get a toothpick and um, clean it. Clean it out. Yes, a toothpick, not a freaking whatever but other than that this looks nice guys i like it and then when you're done if you want to take a microfiber uh, towel and just get all the excess off and you're done all right guys so i forgot to mention that you're gonna want to get a, a skewer or a toothpick i got a skewer because i don't have toothpicks but you want to get like 
you get a toothpick or a skewer to get inside the letters. Like this. You want a wooden one, not plastic or metal. But you get you use it and then you get the letters, the letters out. And then any remaining residue on the sides and on the top. But anyways guys, so that's the gist of it. Um down here with these letters. I mean up there for the big emblem. Um it came off pretty easily because it's just a circle. And not all these like little areas where the paint can get um stuck, I guess you could say. So I mean if you want it to look nice, then you gotta do this. Do this, but if not, if you don't care and you just leave it as is but yeah all right guys so this is a this is the end product as you can see the jetta is um grayed and metallic flakes so is a volkswagen emblem and so is the 2.5 se so i mean like this is i've done this before but not like this not on like emblems and it's my first time doing it on emblems but like here i got it i was didn't wait long enough for it to dry so it's like you can see the chrome right here um i mean other than that that's pretty much it all right guys so i'm inside right now as you could tell and i'm editing and i have my phone positioned horizontally and i'm recording right but then for some reason it wants to flip it so it's vertical and i don't understand why but it makes those horrible black solid edges on the video so um par prior to the clip that's about to play um i was showing you or telling you also what i did so what i did was i um took off four um hex screws and I shoved the towel behind the my grill and emblem so that the spray wouldn't go back go inside and mess things up it'll hit the towel and it'll be okay and then I masked the edges just like I did the emblems and and then from there I sprayed it and that now I caught you up on where we are here it is um yeah you can in the sunlight you will be able to tell that that's painted i mean i'm not going to go through the stress and stuff trying taking off my bumper in order to take off the grill in order to take off the emblem we're just not going to do that so that's how i did it and if you have a jetta then i suggest you do it this way too but let's go ahead and take all this stuff off and see the end the reason why i had the towel behind my grill is because of this reason right here see this all this brown uh, gray stuff will be on the inside and i don't want that there so this is what it looks like excuse my sweat but that's what it looks like it looks really nice i like it a lot the car is dirty but it is what it is so yeah so if you guys enjoyed um make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe to become one of the um one of the kinksters part of the kinksters so again if you guys made it this far go ahead and leave a comment in this video of what to call my baby girl and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time